Turmoil overseas is driving up the price of gas and other goods here at home. And in the meantime, political gridlock grips the nation's capital. News 18's Joe Paul sat down with Senator Todd Young today for a wide-ranging interview on national security, inflation, the State of the Union, and the U.S. Supreme Court. Amid a Russian invasion in Ukraine, a call for unity back home. Republicans and Democrats alike need to stay united uh, behind our, our troops and behind uh, our, our commander in chief. But Indiana Senator Todd Young doesn't back President Joe Biden's recent Supreme Court pick. I'm light, unlikely to support her, but with that said, uh, I think it's important that we give her a, a fair hearing, that uh, we review her record in great detail. As inflation hits Americans in their wallets, Young had this criticism of Biden's recent State of the Union address. I had hoped he'd challenge his own party and, and indicate that it was time to stop spending so much money uh, at a time of high inflation. Instead. Uh, he tried to repackage some of his Build Back Better proposals. Global turmoil is also driving up gas prices back home. Young is pushing for sanctions against Russia's oil sector, which could make matters worse. If there's a way for us to sanction it uh, vigorously, while still protecting the American people from massive price increases, we need to do that so that as we sanction the Russians, we won't feel the pinch at the pump. The Marine and Senate Foreign Relations Committee member hopes the sanctions rein in Russia's reportedly unstable president, Vladimir Putin. Most of what I'm hearing is that Putin is a, a savvy and clever and rational actor. Uh, he, of course, is monstrous uh, to most of us because uh, he doesn't value human life in, in the way that uh, uh, I or, or most Americans would. But Young maintains China, not Russia, is America's biggest future threat. But in the longer term, it's clearly China. So it's essential that the United States uh, is able to become more self-reliant on, on many of the things currently produced in China. Reporting in Greater Lafayette, Joe Paul, News 18. Senator Young is also touting the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act. He says that bill would establish tech hubs across the U.S. in an effort to outcompete China.